All right, guys, we have the Beatles today. She came in through the bathroom window. Let's take a listen. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. We're about to do the part one lesson here. All the lessons for this entire song are on my website, webpianoteacher.com, along with a, a lot of other Beatles favorites as well as, uh, you know, Paul, Mac Paul McCartney and uh, uh, George Harrison favorites and, and John Lennon favorites. They had some great singles and uh, those are also on my website as well. But... <clears throat> What I did here, you're not going to find this arrangement probably anywhere else, uh, but it is on the hired request list as an amendment. Some of them, I, you know, always make mistakes and don't include what I mean to include on the master list. So this one and the next one will be Aerosmith, uh, what it takes. So some good songs coming up. But what I did on this is I'm including Paul's bass line. You know, it's not just some hokey, cheesy arrangement with melody in the right hand that... Uh, doesn't include any of the you know, stuff the instruments are doing. We have Paul's bass line all the way through. I transcribed everything. I listened really closely. Got all his bass notes in there. And I also did George's uh, guitar things that he does. I put those on here as well. And I get the kind of a, a guitar, 60s guitar sound by doubling or layering the grand piano and the harpsichord sound on my old Casio keyboard. So I get that. sounds authentic I think so I, I put his guitar part on the top and ba uh, Paul's bass on the bottom all the way through do the whole thing it's a whole page of music here and we do it all on webpianoteacher.com if you are a complete beginner then you need beginner lessons you don't need to begin here this is not for beginners though some of you you know manage to do that somehow I don't know how you do it but for the average person you're going to need beginner lessons I have 79 beginner lessons on webpianoteacher.com if you need help getting started which many people do. So uh, let's get going with this part one here. What I do, the, you know, it's Abbey Road, so it's kind of one seamless thing. It's like one big song all the way through, but uh, we have this da 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 So it's E, D. I'm going to just go to the piano sound so it's not so hard on our ears for those of you listening. E, D, C sharp, B, A. Kind of is the intro. And I'm using a single note on the right. I'm using two, uh, an octave in the left, two E's, octave D, C sharp, B, A. So it's, and I'm kind of, you know, you don't want to go where it's a jackhammer like that, but you want to give that, 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 that 16th uh, hi-hat feel. the bass line, <clears throat> Paul goes D, F sharp, A, and then the E is kind of like, duro, duro. he does a little barrel bomb, a little slide, if you play bass, you know what I'm talking about, duro, duro. so I'll put an E there, in case you want to play an E there, but some things don't exactly transcribe when you're going from a, you know, a fretted instrument to a piano, but we do our best, D, F sharp, A, ba, ba. So that the in A, C sharp, F sharp. So it's, you know, it's uh, not just an octave stuff where you're hanging out, like piano stuff normally is. What's so great about piano is we can um, emulate the sound of a band, you know, not perfectly, but a lot better than many other instruments. And so we can actually play all the guitar parts, which I think is very cool. So the right hand here when uh, George comes in with his guitar lick here, A, D, F sharp, it's a D chord, I'll use one, two, four, bomb. all right, that's not exactly what he plays, but it's, it's adapted for piano so that it sounds like it, and I think it's pretty close, uh, then we're going to go D, D, high D to low D, 
And then E, I'm gonna use my thumb on the E as well. D, D, so da, 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 da. Then I hit that D chord again with one, two, four. Then a G chord with B, D, G with one, two, five. Back to A, D, F sharp with one, two, four. Again, if you are a beginner, you need beginner lessons. Uh, don't let that be the reason that you quit because you are a beginner and you're trying stuff that's too hard and you get frustrated and quit. Of course it's gonna be too hard. You've gotta start where a beginner needs to start and work up to that. So uh, take great care in your lesson choice if you are uh, learning through the internet on YouTube and other things. So um, putting that together, we go to hands together, one left hand, then the right, D, D. I, I use my curve lines to show that we're pretty much all the same rhythm on notes. So, right there, the A plays with the D, so it's one and two. Da, 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 da. Notice the first note is a quarter note. One, two. Bam. Okay. Bam. And then E, A, C sharp, one, three, five. C sharp. After, and isn't it so interesting when you listen to the bass line, duh, duh, you hear that slide? And even if, even though we can't slide like that on the piano, we still kind of hear it in our ear, and our ear is telling us that that E is sliding because we've heard it so many times. It's really cool. So one, two, da, 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 bum, 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 bum. So we start at the beginning. Let's put our harpsichord back on there because I like that. One, I didn't play that right, <laughs> but we'll we'll get to the next part on webpianoteacher.com. We'll do the whole thing. Lots of music left to learn on this. Hope you guys enjoy it and all the other Beatles tunes that I've done as well. Talk to you later.